And now on to breaking news. We've been following all morning for you from the Space Coast. A SpaceX rocket exploded on the launch pad. No one was hurt, but a lot of people heard and felt that series of explosions. And we were live just after 9 a.m. As the story developed, viewers sent in pictures of the fireball and the smoke plumes as they witnessed them. And now the cleanup and the cost. The rocket was carrying a payload worth $195 million. All of that lost now. Here's more of what we know. SpaceX says this happened as the company was preparing for a test on the launch pad. The rocket was set to launch early Saturday. That rocket and satellite was going to carry. All of that is gone now. Again, there are no reports of injuries. News 6 reporter Sashel Saunders joins us now live from Jetty Park. That's just a few miles from where that explosion happened. Sashel. Yeah, this is not far at all, uh, at all Justin and Bridget, uh, from where we watch to watch those rocket launches and testing on the Falcon 9. It just simply did not go as planned today. Sky 6 flew over the scene there where you can still see smoke coming from that launch pad at this hour nearly three hours after the Falcon 9 first exploded, a completely massive fireball, dark smoke, could be seen from miles away. It was just after 9 o'clock this morning when SpaceX tells us there was an unexpected catastrophic event on the pad. They didn't go into details, but we can see the outcome, complete destruction of the Falcon 9 rocket. The rocket was supposed to launch the $195 million Amos 6 communication satellite for Israel, providing providing communication from the U.S. coast to Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. And now it is gone. Thick black smoke and fire was all you could see for a while. The good news, as you guys said, no one was on that launching pad and no one was hurt. Now, right now, they are still cleaning up. There's no time frame on how long that will take or how long uh, it will take for them to rebuild. But this is definitely a big loss in the space world. Back to you guys. Sashel Saunders live for us at Jetty Park. And here's a statement from SpaceX reading, SpaceX can confirm that in preparation for today's static fire, there was an anomaly on the pad resulting in the loss of the vehicle and its payload. Per standard procedure, the pad was clear and there were no injuries. Now this explosion was felt all along the Space Coast. Our team coverage continues now in Titusville. News 6's Kirsten O'Connor joins us live now. Kirsten, you've been talking to some folks who were close by when the rocket exploded. Bridget and Justin, we just spoke with two women who live not too far from Veteran Memorial Park in Titusville, where I'm standing, and they took some photos of what they saw just right over my shoulder are where these photos are from. But they tell us the sounds from this explosion actually reminded them of the Challenger years ago. Now, in the photos, you see that black plume of smoke in the air that many of the witnesses have been describing. These two women tell us it stretched all the way across the sky from this park. They live about a mile away from here and say they heard several booms, then a rumbling sound afterward. And it also sounded pretty chaotic. There were windows rattling, dogs barking. We asked if they'd ever heard anything quite like it out here. No, not out there. I mean... We seen, of course, the explosion years ago, with the, but nothing like that. Could you tell that something had gone wrong just by the sound of it? No, no not by the sound because of it. Because there were several explosions, so it kind of reverberated just like it would have if it had been a regular launch. And still, both of those women tell us they needed to come out and see it for themselves. That's where those photos are coming from. But both of them tell me it is a relief to hear that statement from SpaceX that there were no injuries. Reporting live in Titusville, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6. Kirsten, thanks. And again, this rocket exploded at Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. In moments, News 6 viewers began sending in photos and videos of that explosion and the smoke. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden is live in the newsroom now with more on some of those images we, we saw. Yeah, Bridget, we just really wanted to give you some perspective on where all of this happened. Most people know where the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex is. That is right here, and a lot of the pictures that we got from social media were taken from here. Right up here is KSC, and that explosion happened right here at launch pad 40. But let me show you how far away that is from Titusville. Titusville is all the way over here. We got several pictures from Titusville as well. We want to show you some of those. Uh, a really good picture. This one is from Austin and Titusville. Talk about that smoke. You can see it all the way across the water and stretching for miles. Here is another good picture. 
This is from Chuck. This shows you the size of that explosion. Just see how big that is and then more of that thick black smoke. We have another picture here showing that tunnel of smoke there that uh, reached for miles and miles. We also got this tweet from the Brevard EOC saying there is no threat to the general public uh, after this catastrophic abort during a static test. We know the good news in all of this is there were no injuries. Bridget. That is the good news. Thanks, Lewis. And there are still many questions. That's what we've been talking about all morning after this explosion since a launch was planned for Saturday morning. New 6 Base expert Eric Von Aiken is here with some of those answers. So obviously that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> Definitely not. To say the least. And also, what could this mean for, you know, the space industry in a whole? Yeah, these are these are good questions, guys. So plain and simple, SpaceX is not going to be launching anything from KSC for a long time, probably not anywhere for a while, at least until they figure out what exactly happened. And this could mean that we don't launch American astronauts from U.S. soil for a long time. The plan was for SpaceX to send up four astronauts on board a Falcon 9 as early as next year. But but this is now the second major setback for SpaceX. The first was last June when a Falcon 9 exploded. You probably remember this. High above the Cape, about two minutes into flight after lifting off from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. It took about half a year for SpaceX to figure out what happened there. It was an oxygen tank that got loose inside the rocket, bounced around, and caused the explosion, at least according to the CEO. This time, though, is very different. This time, they have to figure out how a routine test, what should have been simple and straightforward, could go so wrong, and then they have to rebuild this launch pad, guys. Yeah, and that's a good point, Eric. I mean, how much of a setback is this? Major, yeah. major. You know, just let's talk about the launch pad a second. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is huge. Remember the last time that something like this happened? This was Wallops Island, Virginia in October of 2014. Now, I was there right after I saw this mm -hmm. launch pad. It was did not look good. No. This was when Orbital ATK was trying to send up its Antares rocket filled with supplies to the ISS. Well, the Antares exploded as it was lifting off from the pad. The fireball, you remember, mm -hmm. this was unbelievable. Unbelievable, and it damaged so much of the infrastructure that it took more than a year to rebuild. And Orbital still hasn't gotten back to flying that Antares rocket. They're still working on getting new engines configured. They think this was from a fuel problem with a Russian-made engine. So, if Orbital's catastrophe is any indication, guys, this setback is major and lengthy. Yeah, certainly a, a lot mm -hmm. still left to be processed with this, and we're going to find out in the coming days, I'm sure. Yeah, we don't really know anything at this point. Thank Thanks, you so Eric. much. Sure. And we posted all of these photos and all of the latest updates on ClickOrlando.com, powered by News 6. We'll be monitoring this breaking story throughout the day for you. We're